that's a red flag. If you don't have a jean jacket, that's a red flag. That's a red flag. Hey kitties, welcome back to my channel, Cat Eye Glamour. Our little hangout where we can be the most glamorous versions of ourselves. If you are new here, my name is Marilyn and I'm bringing you all things beauty, fashion, glamour, lifestyle. All that, all that, all that, all that, all that, girl, all that. Why haven't you subscribed yet? Take the time and just go ahead and subscribe now because I kind of think you're going to like it here. So just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Just, just, just hit it. So I thought I would do a fun fall video. It's basically like a fall girl click video. Like all the things that we normally get during the fall. So, or the things that you need for fall, like a fall girl starter kit. If you don't have these things, or if you don't desire to get these things for fall, you can't really sit at the fall girl table. You just can't sit here. Of course, these items, of course, are gonna be beauty and fashion related. So let's just jump right into it and start with the first thing that you need on your fall girl starter kit, and that is a dark lip. A dark lippy can be, it can be either like a burgundy or like a deep brown. We already know what that is. We all love those specific colors when it comes to lippies during the fall. Some of us like them um, throughout the year, but we mainly see them through fall. So we're gonna start with a couple of things that I can recommend that I love that you can definitely try out. Of course, one being the lippy that I have on right now, which is just a glossy reddish brown that's by Sugar School Beauty. If you don't know, if you're new here, then you probably don't know that SugarScoopBeauty.com is my brand, my company. These items are handmade. The glosses are handmade. The lip liner, I, of course, that's not handmade. I don't know how to make that. <laughs> but the lip glosses are handmade and they're moisturizing, they're glossy, they're smooth, and they are not in the least bit sticky. And you can see how beautiful this color is. This color is called Exposed. So I just swiveled in a little bit closer to show you exposed. It's a reddish brown, very glossy. These again are handmade by me, okay? Don't play with me. So it's super glossy as you can see. It's a reddish brown. This is it in the tube, this is it on my lips. I do have my lips lined with a color called Chocolate Strawberry. That's also by Sugar, uh, Sugar School Beauty. And this is Chocolate Strawberry. Let me just swatch it on my hand so you can see the color. So this is the color that I have my lips lined with on the outer part of it. And then I just gloss my lips with this. So this is a really gorgeous reddish brown. It's just, oh, I mean, you see it. Do you, you see what it does for my complexion? This will look good on anyone. Of course, it's gonna look more deeper on a, a more a lighter skin tone, but it's a gorgeous reddish brown. So this is something that you can try. This can be your, you know, your fall gloss. Fall, glossy, deep, just yummy. The gloss, okay. I'm looking at myself. When I look this way, I'm looking at myself, okay? Another lippy that I would recommend is by Juvia's Place. This is a deep brown, semi-matte, like a velvet matte lipstick. I love this. It's called Coco, and again, it's by Juvia's Place. This is it in the tube. Look how pretty this is. It's just such a nice fall color. Let me just swatch it right next to chocolate strawberry. It's very similar to that lip liner, if you can see. Very similar. But this is called Coco by Juvia's Place. This is a great fall shade. It's so smooth and it's just, it's like a velvety matte. It's not super matte, but it's a gorgeous shade. And one more chocolate shade that I can recommend, which I've been using recently because I just got it, which is by Maybelline. This is called Mocha Inventor. This is also another deep brown. This is more like a reddish brown, burgundy-ish shade. I'm gonna swatch it right next to um, Coco so you can see how pretty. Let me show you. How pretty are these shades? These are great shades for fall. Please take my advice. This is what we wear when we sit at the fall girl table. Period. Mocha Inventor is by, again, Maybelline. This is from their matte ink collection. I think this is called like the coffee collection or something like that. 
coffee collection but either way it's the bomb and i'll definitely link this below because this is a must for sure girl now another staple in the fall girl starter kit is candles like if you're not if you're not breaking out the pumpkin spice scents and all that you obviously you can't obviously you don't even belong here okay now candles are one of those things i look forward to during the fall and i typically go to like marshall's or tj maxx and grab some candles um my favorite fall scent is a vanilla pumpkin and i did find a vanilla pumpkin this year not in um marshall's or or tj maxx i actually found it in target and it was five dollars and it's actually fragrant like you actually smell it when you burn it and this one is vanilla pumpkin and again this is five dollars i brought a few of them um there was one called harvest festival that's really fragrant and i'm out i'm out under that it actually finished today so i couldn't even show it to you in the video because i already put it in the garbage but i did talk about it in one of my target hauls or something like that yeah a target haul but vanilla pumpkin smells so good so good it has also notes of brown sugar and cinnamon in it and it's actually fragrant like i said it fills up my entire living room when i burn it after about i don't know like an hour of burning it it the scent you know the scent starts to just kind of fill up the room and it just is so cozy and so yummy i love this so it's vanilla pumpkin in, in again in dw homes that brand um which is normally in tj maxx and marshall's that one is also fragrant. So if you see those in um, when you go in there in TJ Maxx or Marshalls or anything like that, pick it up, girl, because it smells good as hell, okay? It smells good as hell. It smells like a fall girl. Now, speaking of scents, we all have like that perfume that we pull out during the fall and winter when the weather is warmer. I'm sorry, when the weather is cooler, you tend to go for warmer fragrances. And I have these two fragrances that I am kind of rocking right now. Probably gonna be rocking for the rest of the year because they smell cozy and I absolutely love them. I've mentioned them on my on my uh, channel a couple times, and the first one we're gonna start with is this one. It smells so good and it smells expensive, okay? And I like that. <laughs> um, this is by Givenchy. Don't clock me because I said it correctly. Givenchy, nice and bougie for you. Um, is Givenchy Irresistible? So this is the bottle here. So this is my bottle and this is what I'm wearing, you know, now. <laughs> so this is a, to me, it's a warm fragrance. It has, it's, what are the notes in this? It has musk, uh, like blonde wood. It also has sparkling pear, which is a fruit scent. It's like a fruit floral, but woody sort of scent. So it's, I don't know if, if you would agree that it's a like a, a good warm fall fragrance but for me it is so it's like a heavy hitter to me i think it's a little strong but not in a bad way but you really smell that woody and the musk fragrance in it so that's what makes me like it for cooler weather okay so it's definitely a heavy hitter and it smells expensive it smells dressy it smells very sophisticated as well so when i put this on i kind of feel like i should be dressed up to kind of match the scent but this right here is popping. Now, granted, I live in Florida. It's really not even that cool right now. But because I'm a fall girl, I'm wearing my fall fragrance. Okay, now this fragrance is super old. It's like a classic, I guess. My mom brought this for me, um, I don't know, a while back. I can't remember when. But it's this. I love this. Olympia. It's like, I think, Paco, Paco Ravain. This is like a vanilla and amber fragrance. And this is definitely, you. I'm sure many people will agree, this is a cool weather fragrance. It's great for fall. It smells very cozy and sexy and just snuggly. Like you just wanna snuggle up with your boy on the couch and watch, you know, something romantic, like a, you know, like a date night inside sort of vibe. I love this, I love this, I love this, I love this. My mom brought me brought me this fragrance and i really 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 love it so again it's called um olympia and this is by paco rebain rebain i don't know i'm gonna of course try to find a link but this is old this probably came out in like 2000 it probably came out in 2015 this one if i'm not mistaken but this girl 
I didn't even mean to spray it, but I did because I'm a fall girl and this is a fall girl starter kit. It belongs in a fall girl starter kit. It looks so cute with my shirt and my skin. <laughs> Let me move on to the next thing. Um, last beauty item before we move on to clothing pieces. So the last item is for the body. Okay, and we all know this, the weather that's approaching for most people is dry skin weather okay this weather is going to make your skin feel a lot more drier than it normally is cracked scaly whatever you know what i'm saying all things that's not cute for a fall girl okay a good fall sis cannot allow her skin to be cracked dry and all of that okay so of course i got you i got you i got you okay sugar school beauty like i told you at the beginning of the video we have um also body care so we have handmade body buttercreams and i'm going to show you one that is very popular right now one and another well i'll just show you this scent right now which is called aha uh -huh honey and the scent notes in aha uh -huh honey is raw honey it is cocoa uh, cocoa butter as well as chocolate so that's the scent that you get when you put this on your skin so you just smell delicious well, who the hell don't want to smell delicious and also feel just feel really soft this is a very moisturizing formula it's a body buttercream so it's not super greasy please stop getting into the bed oily greasy and like i don't know people don't like that people don't like that okay you want to be moisturized you want your skin to have a glow but you don't want to be greasy like you're about to enter a pan you know what i mean like a frying pan you don't want that. We don't want that. So this is the texture. Hopefully the light. Yeah, so this is the texture. So it's a thick, you can see that it's whipped. It's thick, it's creamy, and it's very moisturizing. I'll just show you on my hand what it would do. So here's my hand now. I have a little makeup on it, but I'm gonna put a little bit of the cream on it. So this is the texture, just so you can see. So this is the texture. I'm just gonna put some of it on my hand. And again, this formula is moisturizing, but it's not, it's not greasy. It absorbs into the skin really well. So you can see that my skin is moisturized. Damn, it smells so good. Mm, Lord, it smells so good. You can see that my skin is moisturized, right? But my skin is not giving greasy because we don't want that. So this is a really, 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 really great um, body cream, butter cream, body butter cream that you can try. It does have body butter in it, of course. There is mango butter as well as cocum butter in this formula. These are non-greasy, they're not heavy butters. So they're gonna leave you moisturized without feeling you, making you feel greasy or weighed down when it comes to your skin. There's also a matching scent in uh, a body glaze, which is body oil. Now, this oil absorbs really nicely. This also doesn't feel greasy because it is an oil, but it doesn't feel greasy. Once it absorbs, which takes minutes to absorb, it's Gucci. And the key to this is when you apply it. And that is when you get out of the shower. After you finish taking your shower, then you dry your body off and then you apply your body oil. Okay, so this one is Aha uh, Honey, the body uh, body glaze. And then you can lock in that moisture with the body butter cream. And then you're gonna be silky soft, okay? And your skin will not be dry, because we don't like that. We don't like that, okay? So definitely check out those products. Um, there's other scents that you can you know check out. Aha uh, Honey is just very popular right now, so I wanted to show you that before it, it sells out, because it's only for fall, these are limited editions, so don't say I ain't put you on. All right, so now let's get into some staple fall clothing pieces, okay? Now I'll have on the screen um, me with the clothing on my body that I'm gonna be talking about. So you don't have to worry about that, I got you, it'll be on this side. All right, so the first thing we're gonna start with as far as clothing item, which is a staple for fall, is a good sweater dress, sis, a good sweater dress. Is it even fall if you're not wearing your sweater dress? Hmm? Is it even fall? 
Now, this sweater dress I brought last year, I'm gonna make sure, you know, take a look at their site from Fashion Nova to see if they still have it. This is a cozy, it's a cozy black. It's kind of heavy too. And it's ripped, oh my gosh, so cozy black ripped sweater dress. And this is from um, Fashion Nova. It has rips in it on the arm. It also has a rip uh, through the dress, kind of like on the, where the thigh, where your thigh would be, or where your thigh, yeah, where your thigh would be on the dress or in the dress. So you, of course, will see on this side. So you can have this on the body. It's a little bit big. This, you can kind of size down, depending on how you want it to fit. But mine fits so, like, baggy and just cozy. And I absolutely love a good sweater dress. A sweater dress can be, you know, a loungy in the house or you can you know step out in it with some boots or something like that but i love this and if you are a part of the fall girl click you should have a sweater dress why wouldn't you have a sweater dress <laughs> so that's the first clothing item that is a must-have when it comes to fall all right y'all so the next thing up on our fall starter kit is a turtleneck a turtleneck is so essential when it comes to fall and winter, okay? A turtleneck, now a simple turtleneck, like this is one that can be layered. This is one I just took out of my closet and I did try it on for you guys here. Um, I got this from Rainbow, Rainbow last year. I, I paid less than $10 for this, less than $10, okay? And I got it from Rainbow. It is such a nice color for one, great color for fall. Clearly, burgundy is a great color for fall. I think that's what color my hair is going to be next. Let's, we'll take note of that, but that might be my next color. But yeah, a turtleneck is really essential when it comes to fall. The thing I like about turtlenecks are you can wear them alone. You can wear a turtleneck um, as like a, like a layering piece. So you can wear it alone or you can throw like maybe a jacket over it to dress it up or to warm yourself up. Like if you live somewhere where it's actually cold, <laughs> you can throw like a blazer over it and kind of like dress it up and accessorize with it. You can also wear a turtleneck as a more loungy outfit where, you know, toss the jacket, just throw on some sweats with it or some jeans with it and still look put together because turtlenecks are very classy. So you're still gonna look put together even though it's a more loungy or more dressy you're gonna look put together either way. So a turtleneck is really a staple. You need a few of them, I feel like, when it comes to fall and winter. Like I have black turtleneck, I have white, I have um, this burgundy one. So I just feel like these are real staples. And I love how you can layer, dress it up or dress it down. So you definitely should have that in your starter kit. Like if you don't, then I don't know. I don't know about you if you don't have a turtleneck. I don't know about you. Okay. Neck or no neck, you need a turtleneck. Neck or no neck, you need a turtleneck. I'm telling you. Okay, so our next piece that should absolutely be in everyone's fall starter kit is a jean jacket. You need a jean or a denim jacket, whatever you call it, girl. <laughs> a jean jacket. You need a jean jacket, especially if you live somewhere where the weather's just starting to get cooler, but it's not necessarily freezing, but you just need a little something to throw over your outfit to dress it up, layer it, to warm you up. A jean jacket. My The jean jacket that I have is cropped, but and it's very like baggy and comfortable, cozy, and just cute. I think a jean jacket, most girls should have a jean jacket. Like, I don't know what else to say about it. Like, Do you have a jean jacket? If you don't, that's a red flag. If you don't have a jean jacket, that's a red flag. That's a red flag. Okay, so next up in our starter kit are boots. Boots. We wait all year to bring these boots out, okay? All year to bring out some boots, okay? The looks are not looks. If you don't have at least one boot in your lookbook or you know what I'm saying, what you have lined up, you need some boots. I recently did a video um, it was basically a like a brunch outfit idea and I did wear some knee-high boots with some jean shorts I'll insert pictures of that so you guys can see if you didn't see that video definitely check it out because I did a makeup tutorial and everything in it so it was makeup and um, outfit so I'll insert the picture or some sort of clip here so you guys can see and some boots just really give you that mm, 
it just makes me feel like you're just that girl. You're just that girl. When it come over your knee, when the poop comes to your knee, over your knee, the knee high one, you really feel like that girl. So I'm really trying to like step up my boot game. I did recently order some boots, some like, uh, like platform boots. Um, I don't know what they're called. I'm gonna start a picture of, uh, of a style that I'm speaking about. But they're like booties, they come above the ankles, they're platformy, they're all black. So I brought those because y'all know I'm, I'm gonna do a, um, I'm gonna do a um, lookbook. So I want to include that with one of the looks with some like leather pants or leather leggings. And it's gonna be so cute. I can't wait, it's gonna be so cute. <laughs> right, so make sure you subscribe if you're interested in my lookbook, okay? My fall lookbook, okay? Um, the next item that we have to talk about now, this isn't necessarily a fall item. Well, I mean, it's great for fall, really. You probably already have this all year round. And that is a cozy, just turn it around, a cozy, cute, furry, soft robe. Like a cute robe. I have one here. It's nice, like a nice pink color. I recently got this from Ross. Where are we at, Ross? I think it was Ross. I bought it in Ross and this is so cozy and cute. You need this for fall. You need this for fall, girl. You need it. Everybody needs a cute rug. Rug. You need a cute rug, but I meant to say a cute rug. <laughs> when you get out of the shower and you dry off, you don't necessarily want to get dressed yet. You just, you know, put your perfume on, put your body cream, your body oil, <laughs> and then throw on your robe. So cute. You get your little, um, speaking of cozy, you can get your pumpkin spice drink, which is also on the list of the fall starter kit. Now, I personally don't even have a fall drink that I can recommend to you. So we are going to leave that in the comments. Leave your favorite, like, fall drink in the comments, like the whole recipe, because I know these orders can get kind of compl complicated, so leave that in the um comments because we can definitely try some drinks like i can try some drinks because i really i'll get some uh, pumpkin creamer or something to bring it home make a little coffee or even hot chocolate with it but i don't like run to the starbucks and be there you know ordering drinks that have like a thousand steps to it like i really don't so leave your favorite drinks in the comments please and i'm gonna try it. i'm gonna pick one and try it okay maybe i should do a video just trying like four or five of them Maybe I should do that. That's actually a really good idea. But leave your recipes and all that bougie stuff that y'all do at Starbucks, okay? <laughs> leave all that in the comments because I'm definitely going to try that. So a fall drink is, of course, a part of the starter kit, okay? And that is where we are going to end this video with a fall drink. I hope y'all leave these recipes or these orders or whatever, the steps <laughs> to get the perfect fall drink in the comments because that's going to be fun because I would love to to try it i would love to try a drink because i don't personally have one that i can recommend so that would be so much fun so take the time of course subscribe be sure to subscribe don't forget to like the video and you always have to come back because that's important okay thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video let me know let me know what you think about the video in the comments okay because that's where i'll meet you Bye, kitties. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.